Luna 15 launched on July 13, 1969 at 2.54 a.m. UTC from Site 81 at Baikonur Cosmodrome aboard a Proton rocket. Its goal was to become the first sample return mission from the moon, narrowly beating the Apollo 11 mission which was due to launch in three days and winning that first for the Soviet Union instead of the United States. Unable to get a crewed mission to the moon ready in time to beat the US, the Soviets prepared this robotic mission as the next step in the wildly successful Luna program to do the job, though it would only be able to pick up about 100 grams of moon material, while Apollo 11 was destined to get 21 kilograms. Still, getting this first would put a slight dent in the American achievement, and the Soviets could rightly point to the fact that their system was a more efficient way of getting the samples back. Luna 15, however, failed in that mission, crashing into the surface of the moon during the final phase of its descent. This is likely because the terrain altitude was not as expected. It is possible that, even if it had been successful in its landing, it would not have returned ahead of Apollo 11 since, prior to attempting to land, it spent 52 orbits around the moon and only attempted a landing on July 21st, which was the day after the Apollo 11 landing. The spacecraft's transfer to the moon was handled by the Block D stage, which also had propellant to get it into orbit around the moon. The descent stage featured a single main engine that could throttle, as well as small vernier engines that could also throttle. The system was meant to land solely using the small verniers. The ascent stage would have launched after the sample was brought into the spherical re-entry capsule and used one burn to head directly back to Earth from the surface of the moon. During the Apollo 11 mission press briefings, Frank Borman reported that because NASA was concerned about the possible interaction between Luna 15 and Apollo 11, he had communicated with the office of Mstislav Keldish, the scientific lead in the Soviet space program, who was also known as the chief theoretician, in parallel with Sergei Korolev's chief designer title. In a rare bit of cooperation during the space race, Keldish did give Borman the intended orbit around the moon for Luna 15, but did not give the intended mission, leaving NASA to wonder what the purpose was, though many guessed that it was in fact a sample return mission. The simultaneous missions of Luna 15 and Apollo 11 represented the most direct competition between the two superpowers during the space race. While Luna 15 was unsuccessful and Apollo 11 did become the first sample return mission, it was followed by the successful Luna 16 mission in September of 1970, which was essentially an identical spacecraft and did become the first robotic sample return mission. The same setup was used for the Luna 20 and Luna 24 sample return missions. With that, thank you for watching this mission profile of Luna 15.